Hello, this is um a video about quarantine. Well, just coronavirus simulations. So, um, we are going to show how a disease spreads. I found a few wonderful simulations, like this one, this one, this one. But for now, we're just going to focus on this guy, as I find it's the most accurate one. Now, this is going to be what a regular disease would spread if the infection the duration is five days. Or at least that's what you would expect. Okay, let's slow the time. You know what? We don't want to waste any time, so I'm going to stay. That's the time. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Usually it's something else, so let's try it again. What is wrong with this? Just reset it. It doesn't matter if you're, it's a yellow circle or a red circle because there's no quarantine. Well, there's no quarantine. More on that later. The disease spreads quite rapidly. And a large amount of the population got infected. But what would happen with the central locations? You could see what, you probably should know what happens. It's something like that. Which, for a bad disease, you would not want. Okay, one blue one survived the epidemic. One person did not get infected. Which is crazy if you think about it. I thought that everybody would get infected. But what would happen if you double the infection rates? You know what? Let's increase it by four times. But the chance of infecting somebody is much lower. You could see how large the radius is. The disease quickly goes away. Yes. The chance of infection is just so low. We, but what would happen with a higher chance of getting infected in a given day? The disease spreads like what? I thought that almost nobody would get infected this time too, but um, it's actually spreading like wildfire. Let's go back to the original infection radius, and back to the original chance of infection. And, um, see what would happen if we social distancing. That is the most famous example at, well, the thing that most people hear about the most. People social distance a bit more. Now people social distancing and avoid other people. No matter if they're a blue one or a gray one or a red one. And now let's go on to the most effective one. Now, as you could see, the social distancing was quite effective. But now let's use the most effective one. It's something like this. See? The amount of people infected is the same as... as the starting point. Let's see. But... for a sanity check, let's do that again. As you can see, there's still only three people who has the infection. 
even with the central location simulation. Okay, this doesn't really happen all the time. Well, it just really matters on if somebody goes in the market. But it was significantly better than if nobody, with no quarantining it. You could see that now. But what would happen if, um, 70 um, let's say 72% of the population did not show symptoms, so they weren't tested. So the effects are quite big. You could see that by now. Oh yeah, and we forgot to show the effects of social distancing in a central location simulation. Pause it. Reset. No quarantine this time. So it doesn't matter if you're a yellow one or a red one. And we set the social distance factor. Play it. So, it's not great, obviously. But let's increase the social distance factor. The higher the social distance factor, the more people avoid each other. Um, it's still wet a bit. As you could see by now. So, only three people are blue, which means they haven't got the infection, nor have the infection. So, there's a big spike right over here. But, now let's go on to the least, the least effective one. Lowering the travel rate. So this is what would happen with a, um, let's say, um, 5%. Mm. Play it. People move on quite frequently, as there are tons of people. But the frame rate is still going smooth. And let's talk about the video that t that gave me this idea of the video. I'm going to pause this for a second right now. Now this video was awesome. Was very great and I thought that I would use this idea of simulating an epidemic and making a video about it. You should watch this. I'll leave links in the description below. You should watch it. Of course, I'll copy the link sooner or later. So, back to this. Now, um... A lot of people got infected, but... Okay, you probably know what's going to happen. Probably. Pause it. Lower the chance by to 0 0.3 and reset it. Play it. Now, as you can see, the disease... You know what? The radius is way too big. Now, since there are two less travel, the disease quickly goes away. But that's because you you didn't went at the exact start. Usually, that doesn't happen. 
Let's go back. Let's go to 10% now. Oh, reset it. 10% for now. Now, once it hits one of the centers, it's going to do a lot of damage, man. Now, let's reduce it to 0 0.05. You know what? That is way too low. 0 0.34. And since the disease goes away still, but it's still worse than the social distancing, or, you know. This is what happens if we combine quarantine. A social distance, but it's a central location simulation. But if there's just, if there is a central location, the effect is big. It was still lower than if it was just nothing. Nothing. So, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe for me, please. And I'll recommend some videos that you would like. And some links for coronavirus simulations. Like this one. This one. Or this one. Bye!